My grandmother insists I apologize to you for my messy face. Okay. <laughs> so I am starting this video by apologizing to you for my messy face. I am going through cleansing and my ancestors are rebuilding their baby girl after the monkeys and baboons attacked her, you know. So um, I have to cleanse all the time and I've got all these cleansing stuff on my face. And I told my grandma that it won't matter. But my grandma says, when you're going to see the king, you look your best. Your audience and your clients are your kings. So you always have to look your best for them. So I apologize from the bottom of your heart and my heart for not looking your best. From the bottom of my heart and my grandmother's heart, we completely apologize for me not looking my best. But, <laughs> she says there are no buts. Okay, but I still have to say it. I am in a cleansing process, okay? And I cannot put on makeup and all that gooey stuff. When my ancestors are rebuilding, my face, my face got scratched and marred by monkeys and baboons. My whole body was damaged by monkeys and baboons. It's not my fault that I was born in a safari park as the only human being. Okay, monkeys and baboons are going to try to get the only human being. So, that's my excuse. <laughs> Welcome to the Jaguarite reading. And this is Bantu territory. It is especially Kosa territory. The Kosa rule right here. Okay. And. I'm gonna go straight into it because I'm still regenerating and my ancestors want me to rest as much as I can. But I promised this video and I am giving it. And I must admit, I must admit, I'm also terribly excited. It's been a while since I have read anything ex except, my, except my clients. My clients are always exciting to me and I always learn something new. They teach me something new and hopefully I, I, I teach them something new about life in this hellhole, right? But um, it's been a while since I felt this excitement making a video for YouTube reading someone. So I thank Jaguar Rights for that. And I thank everybody who has been so excited and so, you know, clued in and so glued in to the good lady. Hopefully, she's good. I'm going to get right into it. This is how I'm going to do Jaguar Rights reading because she said a lot of things. And uh, we watched, Grandma and I, we watched five hours of her and then we were done. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a general character analysis of Jaguar, right? Of Jaguar. I love that name, Jaguar. We're going to do a general uh, reading analysis of Jaguar. And then we're going to do Jaguar versus Mary J. Blige. Then Jaguar versus Tevin Campbell. Then Jaguar versus Diddy. The versus part is what she said about Mary J. Blige. And we'll ask the souls if it's true. Full disclosure. My grandma says this is just a jealous and bitter young lady who is looking for fame. Okay. Me, on the other hand have got absolutely no opinion because i could not decide one way or the other i'm human i'm human there were things that she said that horrified me and i thought her a very cruel person but then i also saw a lot of pain and a lot of disappointment and yes bitterness and yes jealousy i saw a lot of things that were human that we've all been through. Okay. But right here, right now, in the courts of the Bantu, primarily the Kosa. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to see what all my ancestors have to say. And we're going to see what the veil gives us. Shall we begin? Okay. Okay, I don't think I blew these. 
We're gonna call Jaguar to the plate. Jaguar. 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 For real, Jaguar is uh, for real. Jaguar is an entertainer. The moment I called her, she ran into the plate. By the time I got to her name, the second and third time, she was sitting and smoking her cigarette. Okay, Jaguar may be thinner right now, but she's gonna gain weight again because a fat Jaguar ran into this plate. She's gonna gain weight. She's gonna gain weight. In one, or two, in one or two years, she'll be back to the fat girl she is. She eats her feelings. I have nothing against fat girls. I'm a fat girl myself, okay? <laughs> okay. And I eat my feelings. I will not lie. I eat my feelings, okay? So she is, um, she's going to be back to that again because a really chunky jaguar ran into this plate. Short hair is her thing. She really loves it. She thinks it makes a statement. She thinks it, she, it, she stands out. And I'm all for that. I kept short hair until my initiations that I was no longer allowed to. But I did. Now I've got locks, right? So anyway, she is um, very happy with herself right now in this plate. Why lie? Life is going the way she wants it to. She says she's getting the attention she always wanted. She says shaking my fucking head or my motherfucking head or whatever. When I was singing, no one paid this much attention to me. But the moment I start letting out things that most people know anyway, okay, I am getting all the attention I want. Now I got to find a way to make the world hear my music. The soul words, not mine. Okay. So Jaguar. <clears throat> it's a very bitter and very disappointed woman. She is. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. She's a loser, okay? For the things that she had to do for the amount of fame that she wanted, she didn't get there. And the reason she didn't get it was because the man who promised her things thought she was too masculine. And she is extremely masculine on the outside, but on the inside, this is a very feminine woman in fact on the inside jaguar is a little girl crying for help she's like on the inside she's like 10 years old the world frightens her and she's crying for help but she she reaches out to the world in an angry manner in in the form of defense and protection so she has a masculine exterior which actually worked against her but she she created that exterior to protect herself I think Jaguar is one of those girls who was actually used and abused and didn't get the major contract. You say that's right? Yeah, we, we thought so. My grandma thought so anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take Jaguar out of the plate. I might stand up for this video because my ancestors taught me uh, that when you read Soul, sometimes you should do an aerial view, right? I really don't, I, I don't want to do it for YouTube, really. I do it for my clients, but you know, you never know. So I'm going to take Jaguar out of the plate and we're going to look at her, her, her life as per her soul. Now she's crying. I put my hand in, in the shells to pull them out, and now she is crying. She's a very emotional young lady, but all of us who are creative are very, very emotional. I'm extremely emotional, guys. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stand up because it's more exciting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. Ah, alrighty. So 
So you're gonna you're not gonna see me on screen for a while because I'm gonna be take I'm gonna be circling the table and taking an aerial view of this because this is more exciting. Okay, so Jaguar's life has been an endless circle. Okay, an endless circle of ups and downs, ups and downs, more downs than ups. The downs have been heavy, like she's lost heavy. What have you lost? Record deals. Yes, just like my grandma said. Yeah, like she was promised heavy duty record deals and she did some shit for it, right? She, she did what she had to do and she lost them. Like they never materialized. She was never given them. Not once. One, two, three, three very recently, maybe in the last six or seven months and she really needed that contract because she didn't have money she was kind of broke she was poor and she needed it and she thought it was in the bag and she worked for it and it went down the drain hmm. basically her life has been one big circle a circle of disappointment she's had moments though when she's had money she's had moments when she's had some money but nothing like millions and millions of dollars and then the moments of money have turned into something else that's not good like no money right so she has she oh She had someone, like a big person right here, a big person who was pushing her career, a white person, a big person. He was pushing her career. He took her from when she was in a group or something. I'm just going to say this, this feels like Clive Davis. It feels like he tried to work with her and he promised her lots of money. Is it Clive Davis? Yes. He tried to work with her. He promised her money. He promised her things. But then he withdrew from her career. Why? Because she was difficult to work with. She wouldn't allow people to mold her. She wouldn't allow people to um, help her. She, she wanted what she wanted. And she didn't want to hear what anyone had to say. My grandmother said that. My grandmother said that. So anyway, Ms. Uh, Jaguar has started talking. Like, this is her, and she's talking about all these people. These are all the people she knew, and she is targeting one person in particular because she's blaming that one person for the destruction of her career. She's targeting two people, actually, in particular because she's blaming them for her career, the loss of her career. And her targeting them has actually brought her a little fame. So this is her right here. She's kind of famous. She's broken away from the circle and the repetitive things that she has done. And she is right here talking, but she is pointing a finger, accusing a finger at someone. Who is this? A Diddy. A Diddy. And his lawyer. <laughs> That's interesting. A Diddy and his lawyer, she's accusing them of ruining her career. And she's like saying, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to take you down. And she's very angry, but they are going to take her down. So we may not know what is happening behind the scenes to Jaguar, but they have engaged with her. The lawyer has engaged with her. Diddy hasn't. He hasn't at all. He's got his back turned. He, he doesn't give a fuck. But his lawyer... And it's a woman, has a Caucasian woman in her 50s, maybe 51, 52, 53. She has engaged with Jaguar and she is going to take Jaguar down. But this is interesting, people. There's an offer of money on the table. She is offering Jaguar money, not much. But whichever, whatever happens here, 
She's offering Jaguar money, but she's going to re retreat the offer. <sighs> she's playing with her. She's offering her money to shut up, but she's going to uh, take back the offer when she finally succeeds in destroying um, Jaguar. Diddy wants to give her the money to fucking go away. His lawyer does not. But she is banking on that money. However, it shows right here that Mama Bear ain't gonna get it. It also shows right here that the very same white man who tried to help her rise. I keep putting my knife here and it keeps coming out as Clive. If he's still alive. Is he still alive? I don't know. Anyway, the very same. He could be spiritually doing it if he's dead. I think he's dead. <sighs> I'm sensing he's dead. If he's not dead, then he's gonna be dead. Then I feel really awful. Okay, hold on. Clive Davis. Because I, I think he's dead. Because he's coming out as dead. Is he dead? Is he still alive? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm sure he doesn't watch this. Because I do not like... Uh, I don't like um, predicting dead. But... Oh, it's done. It's done. It's out there. Oh my God, he's still alive. Okay, he's 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 gonna transcend. Okay, he is definitely gonna transcend. Yeah, he's halfway there. He's gonna try. Yeah, he's he's not halfway there in the metaphysical. He's all the way there in the metaphysical. Okay, because my grandma was like, he got. Okay, I feel so bad. I feel so awful. Anyway. He is trying to pull her back, though. He is trying to tell her it ain't worth it what she is doing. So she is in communications with this guy. She's not in communications with Diddy. She's in communications with his lawyer. And she is in actual communications with um, Clive. He really likes her. He really thinks she's very, very creative. She's very, very artistic. She is very, very good at what she does. And if she had listened to him, or if she had listened to him even now, she would have gone very, very far. Okay. There is definitely a vibe of sadness and grief over here i really thought it was for her son and i'm not gonna go there i'm really not gonna go there people because the pain of a mother is immeasurable i'm not gonna go there i really i'm i'm pushing that away i'm pushing the pain from for her son i'm not gonna go there i refuse okay and i am getting to the pain the pain of a career that never really made it the way the the creator wanted to the creator meaning her you know what she thought her career would be is not how it turned out and there's so much pain there she's she cries her soul cries about it her soul is talking she's crying about that i worked so hard I sacrificed everything. I did some shit. I did some things. And this is where I end up. And Mary J. Blige gets everything. I knew. Grandma. Say something. <laughs> okay. Mary J. gets everything. I. They get everything. I did the same things they did. And I was more talented. I wrote my own music. I did a hell of a lot. I also did shit. And, and she's in pain. She's in a great deal of pain. And she's crying over her career. Jaguar is going to be silenced. Because there's just not 
basically she is going to be silenced no buts or what about it they're gonna silence her the powers that be including diddy himself one two three people are silencing her from telling the secrets of those people but frankly speaking you guys i just didn't see any secrets all she talked about was what everybody knew or maybe i i i knew it i don't know but all she talked about basically anyway she she is about her career okay and money she totally wants money Okay, so now I'm going to ask her a question. Jaguar, did you ever have sex for a music contract? That's my that's that, that's that's the question I really wanted to ask. Jaguar, did you ever have sex for a music contract? Did you ever have sex for a music contract? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm asking because she made it out as if she was holier than thou, that she was purity itself, and that everybody else was scum of the earth, but she was purity itself, right? And the answer to that question is a yes, but she didn't get the contract, just like we saw when her soul was talking. She didn't get the contract, but she did get fucked for contracts. Here we go. That's a yes. For a lengthy period of time. For many, many, many years. But in her defense, she started by saying no. The first time she got offered sex for a contract, she was pregnant. And somebody said, if you fuck me, I will give you the contract. And she said no. And she she left. But then right afterward, she said yes. And she did do it with the same person for a long, long time. With the same three people for, the, for a long, long time. And they promised her the earth. And she really thought she was going to get what she wanted. And instead, it went to this pretty lady over here. Because they said she was not pretty enough. It went to this lady. Okay. That's Jaguar. I had to ask that question. Because, you know, she was sounding really holy. Mm -hmm. Now, next question. Um, okay, I'm just going to go straight into, because that, that was my question. I was going to ask her that question. I was going to ask her that question. I didn't care about anything else. Let's go to, go to Jaguar versus Mary J, because I want to be quick about this. And what we're going to do is, like, check out their relationship and then ask the questions that, um, the things that Jaguar was saying about Mary, Mary, Mary J. Blige. Please note, I'm not a Mary J. Blige fan, okay? But I was really upset with the way Jaguar described uh, men having sex with Mary J. while she was high and drunk. To me, that's rape. And as one woman to another, it's not something to joke about. Okay? If someone is intoxicated, they don't have the power to say yes or no. And to say, you are a whore. It's like saying to a 12-year-old girl who has been raped by a man next door who is 54, you are a whore. And in the safari park where I was raised, that used to happen all the time. So to me, this is safari park behavior. Okay. That's why I picked Mary J. Because of the way she depicted her. Okay. So. Jaguar versus Mary J. I'm calling Mary J into the black, into the place. Mary J, Mary J, for some reason, she likes to be called Ma Mary J. Mary J. Well, Java ain't wrong. <laughs> Mary J stumbled into the plate, fell, boom! Drunk and high. 
now she's standing up again. She's the show must go on type of lady. Okay, the kind my grandmamas are, are about. Now she's getting up again and she's polishing herself, right? She's getting ready. She's getting ready. She takes a look at Jaguar, who actually has sympathy in her eyes for Mary J, which is so funny because she was spewing hate, but she actually has sympathy in her eyes for Mary J. But Mary J ain't having that. Mary J does it. A, a queen's catwalk and goes to sit on the other side of the plate. So Jaguar is over here. Mary J is over here. So basically, they are enemies. Okay. So Jaguar and Mary J, show me your relationship. Jaguar and Mary J, show me your relationship. Jaguar and the man that Jaguar was sleeping with for a contract was also sleeping with Mary for a contract. And Mary got the contract, not Jaguar. Okay. That just came out while I was shaking the plates. And so this is the two people's relationship. This is a funky one. Mary J is over here, okay? And this is where the line is drawn. Mary J is over here and she has blocked Jaguar. She has literally blocked Jaguar spiritually and in every other way, she has blocked it. This is a real blockage right here. She has blocked Jaguar. Like, I, 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 I don't want to talk to you, ho. I will never talk to you. There's a lot of bitterness here. What you got to say for yourself? Mary J is asking Jaguar why she didn't help her. Why didn't you help me? Why didn't you help me? You were a part of it. Why didn't you help me? See, I kinda, Grandma kind of knew that. However, Jaguar is attached to a piece of Mary J's life right here there is someone in mary j's circle who feeds jaguar information about mary j and jaguar is very serious about keeping tabs on mary j okay this person right here this person seems to be in charge of mary j's a part of mary j's life maybe her calendar or her clothes which is it her clothes and she keeps he or she keeps in contact with um jaguar and tells jaguar things about mary j okay then there's this other this is jaguar's side she has collected information about a lot of people and of course she's collected information about mary because mary's people are feeding jaguar Like, there's a, there's a person also on Jaguar's end who... There's a person on Jaguar's end who, who also gets fed by Mary's people about Mary and tells Jaguar. More like Jaguar hears more from this person, a female friend, who, who is loved by Mary J's people about herself. She collects a lot of information. Jaguar is actually a girl's girl. This is very interesting. These are all girls and they all feed her information. Most of Jaguar's information is not first hand. It's not something that she knows. It's hearsay. It's hearsay from her group of friends. And most of it about mary j is not true okay uh let's ask well i'm not gonna ask if mary, mary j blige is a crackhead because she came in drunk at the very least you know she's going through it we all go through it could be temporary i'm gonna ask uh if she had a train on her okay i'm gonna ask mary j herself 
Mary J. Did you have a train? Did a whole lot of men sleep with you at once? Did a whole lot of men sleep with you at once? Did a whole lot of men sleep with you at once? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Before I even answer this, uh, before I even put this, I'm shaking and, and Mary J says, I was Jaguar's biggest competition. We were sort of similar in the music industry and only one of us could be picked. And I was picked over her because I was more easygoing. Okay, so now we'll get our answer. Yes or no, did a whole lot of men do a train on you? Hmm. I'm going to ask her again because she's refusing to commit. She said yes, no, yes, no. I'm going to ask her again. Mary, did a whole lot of men have sex with you at once? Did a whole lot of men have sex with you at once? Did a whole lot of men have sex with you at once? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? That would be a yes and a yes. Okay, and a yes. That is something that happened long term. Are you promiscuous, Mary? Are you promiscuous, Mary? Are you promiscuous, Mary? Yes or no? Yes or no? She says she loves sex. She says she used to be. Not anymore. So now I'm going to ask Jaguar. Did a whole lot of men have sex with you? Jaguar. There is a history of sexual abuse in Jaguar's childhood, in Jaguar's life. It ended, which was possibly 17. Okay. Did a whole lot of men have sex with you, Jaguar? Did a whole lot of men have sex with you? Did a whole lot of men have sex with you, Jaguar? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Hmm. She's putting a long no. That shit did not happen. Even from my beginning of childhood to now, I never had a train on me. Okay. Yeah, we sort of... There's something about her sexuality. Are you promiscuous, Jaguar? Not saying that she's gay or whatever. That's not what we're saying. There is something damaged about her sexuality like she doesn't quite connect with it okay are you promiscuous jaguar are you promiscuous are you promiscuous yes or no yes or no yes or no this is a very complex soul she says no this is a very complex soul she She was raped a lot. Hence the... And her sex was very violent. Like, she was really brutalized. She was really violated a lot. And so it shut... It shut her down some. But then she kicked herself into having a sex life. Like, forced herself into having a sex life. Right? That's... This is a broken person, a broken soul that needs healing. A part of her is like a 10-year-old girl, and it's the 10-year-old girl that's talking. It's the 10-year-old girl that's getting revenge for those whom she feels didn't appreciate her, used her, didn't give her what she'd worked hard for. Then she really has this big ego that she's the most talented singer 
America ever produced. It's such a big ego. And, and that makes her situation of not being as famous as she wanted to be even more. There is a 10-year-old girl stuck in the body of a 40-something-year-old woman. A 10-year-old girl with memories and, and dreams and, and situations that never really happened. You know, I don't know. She's... <sighs> I'm feeling for her. Let me just put it that way. Jaguar, did Mary J try to ruin your career? Did Mary J try to ruin your career? Did Mary J try to ruin your career? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Shell fell. That is a definite. Don't. But that is what Jaguar felt. And that is the accusation she stands on today. She felt that. She stands on that today. But she really was on her way out. Whenever, whatever kind of fame or whatever she was supposed to get around the Mary J. Blige time, it wasn't going to happen. But that's what his soul stands on. Okay. okay um, Jaguar versus Tevin Campbell. She says he was a prostitute on Hollywood Boulevard. And so we're going to check that out, right? Okay. Bye, Mary J. Bye, Mary J. Bye, Mary J. Okay. Jaguar. Just calling her again, but she's sitting there. Jaguar. Jaguar. Jaguar has heart problems and kidney problems. Like the back over there. Like kidney problems. She's got heart and kidney problems. She has to really take care of those two things. She's, yeah, they are both red as fuck. The kidneys and the heart are both red as fuck. Red as fuck. Okay. So now we're going to go to Tevin Campbell. And I'm going to call, I'm not going to call Tevin, Tevin Campbell into the plate. I'm just going to ask if what Jaguar said about Kevin Campbell. Kevin, Tevin, Tevin Campbell. Tevin Campbell, Tevin Campbell. Okay, if ja if what Jaguar said about Tevin Campbell is true, I'm gonna ask Jaguar. So, Jaguar, was Tevin Campbell really a prostitute? Was Tevin Campbell really a prostitute? Was Tevin Campbell really a prostitute? Well, you know she doesn't flinch. This bitch, this bitch doesn't flinch. Okay, this bitch is looking straight at me like. Okay, so this is what we get. I'm gonna rise for this. Okay, unflinching bitch, you're making me rise. Okay, <laughs> okay, unflinching bitch. And this would be enough. Okay, according to Jaguar Saw. No, this is a no. But she heard things. That made her decide to go with that. Basically, she came to her own conclusion. But what are the shells saying? The shells are disagreeing with Jaguar. They are literally saying no. That's what the veil is saying. The veil is on Tevin Campbell's side. This is so fascinating. So 
it's what she heard and she repeated what she heard but the veil is saying it's not true the veil fought back the veil fought back you know the veil said it's not true it fought back okay. now we're gonna go to p diddy jaguar versus diddy okay so she says she, uh, a lawyer told her that's the thing about jaguar soul okay i just have to say it she's about hearsay she's not about i saw this myself she's about what someone told her and stories get lost in translation. She's about not really about her ex own experiences. She's about other people's experiences. That's that's what we are getting, and it's very disappointing. It's very disappointing. It's like she. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to explain. It. You know when I do spells and I do a lot of spells and I do a lot of rituals, and when I do rituals and when I do spells. I, my energy goes into that ritual and that spell. So when that spell hits my enemy, they know it came from this bitch, right? And they should know. Yes. Okay. So, you know, they know it came from this bitch, right? What Jaguar is saying does not have a Jaguar insignia. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have a Jaguar insignia. She's just literally discussing industry gossip for fame. Okay. She could have just opened a YouTube channel and made tons of money doing that. Doing what the others are doing. Those who were interviewing her. She could have made lots and lots of money. Like, you know, doing what Tasha K is doing. She could have, but she sees it as beneath her. She's, you know, like, it's beneath me. But she needs money though. Right? So she decides to revitalize her career doing this. Okay? This is what we're getting and this is what we're sharing and deal, bitches. Deal. All right, Jaguar versus, what the fuck? Okay, Jaguar versus Christopher Williams. I was really hoping to get something different from her because I like people who tell their truth. But I'm just getting, you know, even Tasha is better because Tasha verifies. I don't know how to explain it. But do you know what I'm saying? She, she should have just opened the channel or whatever. Okay. She says he got Christopher Williams to suck his dick. Okay. Jaguar. Did Diddy have Christopher Williams suck his dick? Did Diddy have Christopher Williams suck his dick? So she wanted money for this. There is truth to what some of what she's saying, obviously. And she wanted money for this. She wanted money for this. Perhaps that's the money the lawyer is discussing with her when it comes to Didi. Okay. But she's not going to get it. That's why it fell out of the plate. Did Didi suck Chris? Did Christopher suck Didi? Oh my gosh, she's really not going to get it. <laughs> okay. Did. Christopher suck Diddy's penis. Did Christopher suck Diddy's penis? Did Christopher suck Diddy's penis? <sighs> the soul that is Jaguar is saying no. Twice, not once, but twice. The soul that is Jaguar is saying no, and the veil has even taken a stand. It's very rare for the veil to take a stand, but it has taken a stand twice in this reading. The veil is literally saying, Stop that. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask the veil Did Christopher? Because there is definitely something here. 
not about the Christopher, but there is something between Diddy and Jaguar. Maybe we'll find out as I carry on. So I'm not going to ask the veil. Maybe we'll find out. Because there is, because there is talk of money. Okay, there is talk of money. Which means that she does have a secret of Diddy's, but maybe she hasn't shared it with us, that she is extorting Diddy with. There is extortion at hand. Okay, there is extortion. Okay. Um, she accuses him of killing Kim Porter because Kim was blackmailing him. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe it's the same secret that Jaguar is holding on to. Okay. Diddy. Jaguar. Did Diddy kill Kim Porter? Did Diddy kill Kim Porter? Did Diddy kill Kim Porter? Yes or no? Answer please. Yes or no? And for the first time, she, she's been staring at me like this all justified and whoa, 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 right? And for the first time, her eyes go downcast, okay? Very disappointing. That's another no from the soul that is Jaguar. And her excuse is she heard about it. So, of course, it should be a yes because she heard about it. And the veil is saying, stop it. I've never seen anybody chast chastised by the veil as much as she has. The veil is saying, stop it. She wants it to be true. She's insinuated it. She has talked about it. She's discussed it. No. Okay. Diddy, did you, of course, um, next question I had was, uh, Jaguar, uh, did Diddy ruin multiple, ruin multiple careers? Because she said he ruined multiple careers and he took good music away from the people. Basically, what she was saying, as far as my grandmother and I saw, was that he took my great music away from you guys. But then I listened to her music. It's not my type of thing. If I have to choose between Mary J. Blige and Jaguar, I'm all Mary J. Just saying. Just saying. If I have to. But both of them don't sing my type of music. Like I say, I'm, I'm a hip hopper. I'm about Nicki Minaj. Okay? Yeah. I am a fan of Nick, Nicki Minaj. I'm a fan of Nicki. I am about her. Right? Okay. Um, okay. Jaguar. Did Diddy ruin multiple careers? Jaguar. Did Diddy ruin multiple careers? Jaguar, did Diddy ruin multiple careers? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? This is what I have to say. I have to say that God is not on Jaguar's side. <laughs> God ain't on that bitch's side, okay? It's literally, she's literally, they are forces in the metaphysical fighting this bitch while she's talking there will be repercussions there will be punishment this could be Diddy's ancestors it could be the people's ancestors who is it forces within the veil itself okay so did he ruin many careers did he do the music industry a disservice as Jaguar said the answer is no And no, and no, it does say when he began in the music industry, he really didn't know what he was doing. He was inexperienced. He didn't know what he was doing. But this is him right here trying to pull all these people up with him. This is him. 
trying to pull all these people up with him. Were they all talented? I don't know. I can't sing to save my life. It's going to have to be you, the people who decide whether Didi brought talented people to you or not. Okay. He blocked great music from the public. Jaguar. Did Didi block great music from the public? Jaguar. Did Didi block great music from the public? Jaguar. Did Didi block great music from the public? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes! One thing that uh, she said about Didi that's true. This is a yes. He did block some great music. He did block great music. And he blocked more great music than he brought great music to the people. Yeah, he did. But not at first. At first, when he began, he was about the great music. But as he went ahead, he realized that, you know, it wasn't cutting it. And then, you know, he gave the people what the people wanted. Basically, that's how business works, right? Even writing. Okay, a certain title, a certain topic is in fashion and in style. And people have to make money, you know. I really feel for publishers because it's really hard to sell books. So anyway, in the end, he was blocking great music to please the people. And, you know, yeah, he did. He is guilty as charged. Okay, now there is something between Jaguar has a Diddy secret. We discovered that because uh, Diddy's lawyer is, if she hasn't started talking to Jaguar already, she's going to start talking to Jaguar. A settlement is on the table, but then they are playing Jaguar, right? That to me is the most interesting story right here. I'm going to see if the veil, will, if Jaguar herself will tell us what she has on Diddy because she has something. It also really explains why she went on and on about how Kim won over Diddy because she had a secret and da 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 da. da. He, she, he, he couldn't get away from her because she had a secret. How about she loved that man? But she does. She does have a she does have a Diddy secret where he wants her to be paid off. And the lawyer is not going to do it, though the lawyer is playing her, right? Okay, Jaguar, what is the secret you have on Diddy? And she stands up to try to walk out of my plates. <laughs> okay, sit back down. Let's smoke your cigarette. What is the secret you have on Diddy? You slept with an underage girl. A 13-year-old girl. A daughter of one of his musicians. And knocked her up. She says he could have gone to prison. He should have gone to prison. So why are you not talking about it? Why are you telling us all these other things? And you are not talking about this. Because that's my money. That's my money. That's my money right there. That's my money. Like Kim, that's my money. Tired of living like this. I'm tired. I'm tired of living like this. I won't live like this. That's my money. And that's it. It is now up to you to decide whether everything Jaguar has been saying is true or false. I just gave you three because I could go on, but I'm not going to go on for five hours. What was my opinion? What is my opinion of this saw? This saw 
has the disappointment of everybody who is creative. I thought I was going to be a best-selling author by 30. Never happened. Still hasn't happened. Maybe it will happen when I'm 70. Grandma tells me great things are going to happen to me when I'm 70. She says, I'm going to get a boyfriend who's going to be so handsome when I'm 70. I'm going to I'm going to get, make, get all my metaphysical wealth that my slaves are working hard for, for me. Because you know what? Every time someone attacks me, my ancestors take their money. They take their uh, physical wealth and metaphysical wealth they can take it in two years they can take it in three four five but they will take it and when they take it it goes into my metaphysical wealth but then according to my ancestors i'm still a baby that shit is gonna wait to come down when i'm 70 so they say when i'm 70 it's gonna be nothing but party okay party 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 so anyway here's the thing um um, she, she reminds me of my, my bitterness at not making it. It's my craft the way I wanted to. She reminds me of the pain and the grief that we creative people put into things that the world does not pay attention to. She reminds me of that because she actually cries over that a hell of a lot. I'm not a hell of a lot. Like 90% of the time she cries over that. She, I feel as a wish doctor that she's trying to reenact her career she's trying to get back on top and she's doing it the best way she knows how but i feel like she could have just started a youtube channel and people would have just paid to hear her out and she would have been popular in another way sometimes god moves you where you should be okay he moved me from writing to put me here because this is where i was supposed to be witch doctoring helping young ladies of african descent get out of cages that they are put in by people of african descent and i mean arabs too you know and 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 hispanics hispanics africans we all have the same issues right god put me here to 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 go through what i'm going through so that i could help others i feel like you know let me ask Jaguar. If you had a YouTube channel, would it be popular? If you had a YouTube channel, would it be popular? If you had a YouTube channel, would it be popular? Yes or no, answer please. Yes or no. Yes or no, answer please. Yes or no. Yes or no, answer please. Yes! Extremely so. Not at first, but it'll take off. Extremely so. However, she will do what she's always done to herself. She will self-sabotage and the same thing will happen again. But yes. Okay. So, I'm definitely done now. I... Jaguar needs therapy. <laughs> I am so sorry. She needs therapy and she needs to come to terms with the fact that sometimes as a creative person, things don't work out for you. You know what I'm saying? Wrong time. She could be 70 and be famous. You know, I'm, I'm going to be 70. I turn 50 soon. I'm excited because I'm waiting to be 70, right? Then I can have my metaphysical wealth and then I can have my boyfriend and then I can have my peace and security. Then I can have my happiness, right? She could, she could get to 70 and be famous, but she's burning her bridges, making all the wrong decisions and saying things where she doesn't have concrete proof. Yet she actually has a secret where she has concrete proof and she ain't sharing it with us. She's holding out on us. Therapy. Having said that, thank you so much. And I am so glad I did this and I continue to regenerate and I continue to get stronger. And I just want to thank you all for seeing standing by me during this war with the monkeys and the baboons okay 
I will never call them anything else ever again but monkeys and baboons. And this is the last time I will ever talk about this because grandma says if you keep talking about monkeys and baboons, they will come. So I'm not going to talk about this anymore. What I am going to talk about is the power of the light. The power of the light. The power of the light. You are the light, just like my ancestors said. And the light pulled me through and continues to pull me through. And my gratitude to each and every one of you is never ending. I love you to death and back and back again and back again. You are everything to me. And, you know, I know I'm nothing and I'm a little nobody, but I just want to say I love you so, so, so much. You have no idea. And I'm so grateful to be with you and not with the monkeys and bubbles. Okay. So thank you all very, very much. And I uh, take care of you. And I shall, um, I am going to uh, put uh, the Ancestors Day uh, video that, that I'm going to put it, uh, you know, the, the link in this, in this, um, on underneath in the description box of this video because Ancestors Day is extremely important to children of light, to those whose ancestors sparkle that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue, blue color that I only first saw in the Casa when I went to the Casa because with the monkeys and the baboons, I just saw the darkest ancestors ever. Then I saw the, 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 how our ancestors actually should be with the Casa right so this proudly Costa young lady really celebrates every holiday that her ancestors insist she celebrates and ancestors day is especially important to me because that's when i meet my my my, my ancestor the great Costa, and that's when i i meet my cousins who are biracials cape coloreds and that's when i meet my side of the family that i didn't grow up with so i'm gonna put uh the video link below and i hope you all celebrate ancestors day because you are children of light and your light has won the day over and over again nothing but darkness comes from the dark but with light everything comes so be good to yourselves I always say that and I will say it, be kind to yourselves, okay? And be kind to each other. And my gratitude to you and your ancestors is never ending. And um, see you next week.